hello everyone welcome to today's video today we're going to talk about <laughs> sorry i never use this podcast microphone i bought it last year when i was planning to start a podcast with a friend but never ended up doing it i think we recorded three episodes but then yeah it just died Okay, today we are going to be talking about how to create a peaceful and cozy home. I have five tips for you to cultivate your house, make it cozy. I will probably say cozy a million times today. I need to stop rambling and just get on with it. <laughs> okay, I really uh, need to stop. Okay. I just love our home. I love creating a cozy atmosphere. I love hosting people and having ambiance. Like the lighting is so important. Oh, just the feeling you get when you're at someone's home and you just feel like nostalgic. Like, oh, like a middle school slumber party. Like that is the feeling I want in my house. Okay, let's hop into the tips. Tip number one is just decluttering and organizing. I feel like there is just no way to achieve this cozy, peaceful feeling if your house is a mess. And let me tell you, I am in the process of going down a deep, deep, deep dive into organizing my home. That will be a separate video, but I have been slowly, I would say once a week, picking a space whether it be a closet or a cabinet and doing what I need to do to organize it and create a home for everything. It's very hard to keep your home clean if you don't have an organization system. Everything needs a home otherwise it just gets thrown into the abyss. For us our dump zone is our dining table. I think a clutter-free environment really helps to create a peaceful mindset. I don't know about you, but I work from home and it is very hard for me to be creative and to be productive when my space is messy. I think having decorative baskets around your home to kind of dump things in, for example, my son's toys are usually like all over our living room. So just having a small basket in the living room in our bedroom to just toss his toys in um, a couple times a day to feel like it's a little bit more put together is very helpful for us. Also, something I am implementing is a put away basket. So like I said, we have a dump zone and it is called our dining room table. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a basket next to where we typically dump things. And instead of putting it on that dining room table, the goal is to put it in the basket and then every couple days go through the basket, empty it and put things away. I'm hoping we won't really need this as much as I go through and organize our home and you know, create a space to put things back. But for now, I think it is a great way just to put it near wherever you like to dump things, put it all in a basket so it doesn't get cluttered, and then, you know, set a calendar reminder to go through that basket. Now that you have a tidy and organized home, let's get into more of the fun, the fun stuff. Number two is making your bed your sanctuary. I love our bed. When we leave and travel, I yearn to come back to my bed i am so obsessed with it and you know that's because i think i took the time to invest in high quality bedding a, a high quality mattress and i have just created it so so cozy like even when we stay at a nice hotel it just doesn't compare to our bed so let me tell you how i did so we recently upgraded our mattress and let me tell you, it has been life changing. We went with the Dream Cloud Premier Rest mattress. It is a memory foam mattress. It is so soft. It feels like you're laying on a cloud. All their mattresses are topped with a cashmere blend cover so it's super breathable and soft. 
They offer free shipping and returns. They also offer a 365 night home trial, which means you can sleep on this mattress for a full year to decide if it's right for you and your body. And if you are unsatisfied in any way, you can return it for free. My husband will not shut up about this mattress. He comes to me every single morning and says how good he has slept since we changed mattresses. He is in love. I think he may love our mattress more than he loves me at the current moment, okay? But I'm not mad about it because he is alive, he is thriving, and he feels rested. <laughs> and we love that, okay? We love that for our baby daddies. If you guys are interested in checking out Dream Cloud's products, I will have some details in the video description below. Another thing that I recommend when it comes to your bed is to invest in some high quality bedding. I personally love bamboo sheets. Nothing compares. I am a hot sleeper, so they are just amazing for me. My husband loves them. They're so soft. Make sure to do your research and look for, a, like, you don't want, like, the Amazon bamboo. I mean, there's probably some good Amazon ones out, out there, but uh, they probably will cost you around $100 or up for the sheet set. But, oh my goodness, it is literally the best thing that has ever happened to me. I also love, like, a linen or cotton duvet cover. Some nice soft like down pillows or down alternative pillows is what we have. I like a little combination. I have one back pillow that's a little bit more structured. That way if we're sitting in bed, I got enough support. Bedding and mattress, very important. Very important things for life. Okay, let's move on to tip number three. And that is setting a cozy ambiance with lighting. Oh, I could go on about lighting forever. I have tried to implement a rule in our home that is no overhead lighting past like 7 p.m. There is just nothing that irks me more than my husband turning on our bright hospital grade kitchen lights at night. It is just blinding what are we gonna do we need light at night so i like to supplement our overhead lighting with some lamps i have a lamp in the office we have sconces next to our bed i have a lamp in our dining room that kind of pushes into the kitchen and let me tell you a little tip a little game changer that has really made my lamp life thrive and that is smart plugs so I bought a pack of four, I believe, on Amazon for about $20. They were super easy to set up. I connected it to my Alexa, which is in our kitchen. And I can tell Alexa to turn on my office lamp, my kitchen lights. I even set it up for our patio lights. And let me tell you, I just use our lamps way more when I don't have to, like, go click them on myself. So there's just a little easy life upgrade for $20 would recommend. Some other things you can do is swap out your light bulbs for some like warmer lighting. I personally like to have the bright like white light in my bathroom for when I'm getting ready. Everywhere else we pretty much have warm light bulbs. You can also swap out your lighting fixtures. This place came decked out with boob lights. If you know, you know. I just, I have fought for my right to change out my light fixtures. <laughs> it is renter friendly. Kyle protests a bit, but let me tell you, swapping out your light fixtures makes such a difference. We put this beautiful chandelier in our bedroom. The last little thing you can do to create a cozy ambiance with lighting is candles. Of course, I love these little um, tapered candles. I love to have these around the house at nighttime. Recently, I baked some chocolate chip cookies by candlelight and it was the most cozy thing I have done in a long time. It was just, oh, I had a glass of wine, I had my apron on and oh, it was just a dream. So I love having these candles everywhere, but another option you could do is some battery operated candles with like the little remote. We have some of those above our 
faux fireplace and we use them all the time. And of course we have our cozy little fireplace. I feel like that makes the room feel just ugh, so warm and welcoming. I will have a link to that in the description as well. Okay, tip number four is the role of nature in peaceful living. There's just something so refreshing about fresh air. Where we live, it's just the weather is perfect. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is just amazing. So we always have our windows open, but I'm always trying to find ways to encourage myself to get outside more. And the biggest thing I did to achieve this was creating a great sitting area outside. We had such a cluttered porch before this and then we got a nice outdoor couch and we put up some patio lights and let me tell you I am out there all the time it is so great and I just go Alexa turn on my patio lights and she does it for me and it's just it's amazing it's convenient it feels great but if you don't have the opportunity you could always like lay down a nice blanket. We have this leather mat from Gather and we use it all the time on the grass, on the beach, and it's great. I just like to lay that out on our grass and I'll go sit out there with Legend. You could also start a garden bed. That is one of my big plans for the new year is I'm going to do a whole garden bed on the property. Um, but you could start with some raised raised beds you could start with some pots and just do some like um like a herb garden that's what our upstairs neighbor does she just has a bunch of pots with herbs and i love going over there and just grabbing what i need for recipes so that's a little option or you know you could do some indoor plants i currently don't have any i killed all my indoor plants last year when i was pregnant and we were moving a lot and i have not bought any since but i think you know pulling in nature into your indoors especially if you live somewhere cold or that has a little bit of those gloomy winters having some plants inside would really freshen up the place my last tip is to add some warmth and texture this can be done in so many ways personally i love having nice texture on my bedding and layer some blankets have some textured pillowcases you can also add texture with rugs so our place came with this dark brown carpet that i'm not the biggest fan of so i decided to cover it a little bit with some lighter brighter rugs around the house and it really does transform the space and make each room feel much brighter and more inviting. Another way to add texture is with curtains. I recommend hanging your curtains as high as possible because it just gives the room more height. You don't want them like right above your window. If you can, just get those girls up to the ceiling. And then I found these really great ones on Amazon. I believe they're like maybe a faux linen or a linen blend and you know they serve me well they serve me well i have been eyeing some of the zara home ones i think they're like actual linen oh they're so beautiful i just saw some at a massage place another way to add texture is of course pillows blankets just all over your home just having a little basket of blankets next to your couch. I like to keep some blankets outside in our little sitting area. And here's a little tip. You can just buy new pillow covers. So if you have an old pillow, it's kind of dingy, it's not washable, um, just buy a new cover for it and stuff that baby in there and she's good as new i also have some christmas pillows that i'm gonna do this with instead of swapping them out and like having to hide them all season just get a new pillow cover all right friends that is going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed just talking through all things cozy home with me let me know your tips in the comment section or just let me know which one of these you think you're gonna try out i would love to talk in the comments with you guys thank you again to dream cloud for sponsoring this video if you guys are in the market for a new mattress and you know want to try risk-free i will have all of the information linked in the description for you guys i love you guys and remember 
Jesus loves you more. Bye.